Beyonce, the first woman to ever headline Coachella. First black woman ever headline Coachella. Definitely turned it out last night. Bringing out Jay-Z, Destiny Child, and her own sister Solange in there. And we heard there was no elevators out there, so her and Jay was not on the elevator. No beat down took place. It was all good. <laughs> Jay was like, I made the 444 album. Please don't hurt me. So it was all good there. And then on top of that, the set she did was incredible. You know, she's Beyonce, man. B is going to throw down no matter what. She's an entertainer. She's headlining, so you know she's going to really get down. She did like a drum line scene, you know, and, you know, was carefully executed. It was great. She talked about the pregnancy of her twins that put a hole in her original plans to perform last year, you know, because she's supposed to do that, but she was too far in her pregnancy to do it. And she just said now she wanted to dive into what she wanted to do this set and be herself for the fans. This is everything and more I've dreamed of it being. You know, she was really happy. You know, all the wardrobe changes, thematic thing, elements, the surprise appearances by Destiny's Child and then actually her own sister Solange in there. And then, of course, you know, Jay showed up. But it was no surprise to see him there. You know, but it was it was a great accomplishment, you know. And she did the whole African American experience, the Lift of Every Voice and Sing rendition, you know, uh, effectively from the you know, formation thing. You know, she did a, a central time piece type of thing for uh, historical black colleges with the drumline musical thing that they did and I thought that was pretty cool it was cool man uh, I enjoyed Beyonce's set you know she changed like four or five times through the sets you know, she was going through her, she did Drunken Love, uh, Feeling Myself, I'm Feeling Myself, Flawless, Partition, then they did Deja Vu together on stage, which is terrible, they should have did Upgrade You, but they chose Deja Vu, which didn't make no darn no sense to me. Then, you know, the Destiny Child set, they did the, uh, with Michelle and Kelly, they did the Say My Name and I Need a Soldier song like that, and Lose Your Brow, you know, some of the, uh, popular songs. <laughs> um, Khaled did as usual we the best and everything but um, at the end of the day you know it was Baychella like everybody kept screaming out there it's Baychella I'm like okay these people are drunk <laughs> that's what you come to the conclusion and say So it was very powerful, the Destiny Child reunion that a lot of people wanted to see happen that night. And Beyonce headline Coachella was the biggest story of them all. But the, the rebirth of 
Destiny's Child. I'm just like, oh wow, they rebranched themselves. Let's see what happens now. So I think it was great of Beyonce to come back and do something with the girls. But hey, that's just me being a hopeful. You know, so we'll see what happens. Very interested to see what's gonna happen now. Yep, so I'm out. Thanks a lot, uh, everybody who is listening. Uh, I'm a little tired right now because I've been going at it really hard. So I hope you can forgive me today. Really do, because today I'm like trying to struggle for the energy. So I'm really tired. Really am. Um,. Uh, I'm out, man. Y'all just have a blessed day and definitely do something for somebody today. No matter what it is, they ask you, just do it. Don't give them a hard time. Never know how long they're going to be here. I'm out.